let's get into it let's get into it um i know that the desk desk cam is a little bit janky right now we're trying it out this week if we like it i should really be using a real knife uh if we like it i'll go ahead and get a mic arm for it so it'll look better but okay i know i know i said don't okay th there we go this is this is cutting away from myself still there we go all right that's cut that's cut baby scissors these are not baby scissors those are not baby scissors those are full-size adult scissors all right actually you know what back of the box let's see um 69 grams that's very good for a wireless mouse max battery life 71 hours it's probably with all the rgb off and it's got the measurements too nice okay here we go here we go all right there's the mouse chat i'm gonna get this out of the way there's the mouse let's take this out Ooh. ah okay so it comes with the covering that's that's really nice that weight feels very nice dude Ooh. -hoo -hoo -hoo. Ooh, yeah that's that's nice okay so this must be just some yeah it's just some pieces to protect the ptfe feet let's get these off and i will explore the rest of the box in a second don't you worry playing with the g305 it's so heavy i love the g305 dude you should put a uh a battery in there with an adapter to get the weight down a little bit it, it won't get it down too low but it, it it's really heavy with the uh the double a battery in there okay cool Ooh, that's that's a really nice glide chat that is nice okay let's explore the rest of the box here so here we have the ah okay so this is the receiver i don't know how well my camera oh yeah there we go okay so we have the glorious branding on it right there and then this must be the yep usb receiver for the mouse just goes right in there yeah and then this this has a usb type c plug so this this seems to be functioning a lot like the wireless um connector for the uh g pro wireless where it, pl it plugs into the adapt or plugs into the I guess dongle and then it plugs into the mouse to charge it and here is the cable itself it's a lightweight braided kind of cable so it's nice that they gave us a good cable to use with uh wired mode if we ever need to use it in wired mode that's actually very nice so yeah we got a lightweight cable and it's got the pronged connector as well to help it stay put i i will probably be pretty good about charging this thing so i don't think i'm gonna ever be using this i will obviously test it out for the review but um let's plug that in so nice that it's USB C, so you don't need to mess around with trying to get it plugged in the right way that is very nice dude okay let's plug that in and then i'll do that in a second here want to explore the rest of the packaging we got silica don't eat that uh quick start thing there is software for this mouse i don't know if i'm going to download it right now stickers cool let's just dump that out and i think the only thing left in there was actually a manual so i didn't even need to dump that out yeah just a manual uh 800 dpi is blue i need to remember that okay cool box is gonna go away I am so excited about this, dude. I am so excited about this. Okay. Cool. Box is over there now. Okay, here's the mouse. Oh, that is such a nice, smooth glide, dude. That is really, really nice. Okay. Give me, like, a minute here. Let's get the Viper Ultimate out of the way. Give me a minute here. Uh, I'm going to get the receiver plugged in and get this all set up. Give me one moment. Okay. Cool. Let's get that situated right there. Let's turn the mouse on. Let's hope. I hope it has juice. Oh, there we go. Nice. The first. I don't remember what what the first was. Uh. Okay. We're gonna change it to 800 DPI, which is blue. Okay. Wow. This is 
This is really snappy and responsive so far. That feels really nice. Okay, let's let's look at this with RGB on. It's nothing new. This is exactly how the Model O looked. Uh, with the scroll wheel wireless and the side wireless. We got the side buttons over there, which I, I don't have my original Model O anymore, but these look smaller almost. I, w I wish I had my original Model O to compare it to, but um, those look a little bit smaller than the original ones. I, I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but let's, let's see if they have the same issue. Hold on. Can I, can I press them from here? No, you can't. On the original Model O, you used to be able to press the side buttons by, by pushing down right below it, and you can't on this one. That's good. Okay. Nice. Nice. Very nice. Um, I'm going to hop into the practice range so that we can have some kind of first impressions of the mouse. Um, I'm really liking it so far though. The, the sensor feels very responsive and these feet, even on the Equate, which is more of a control pad, it's, it's got good stopping power, but it's a fairly, fairly fast glide. It, it still feels really, really quite good. So I like it, dude. I like it. All right, everybody. I just wrapped up my first stream with the Model O wireless, literally not even 30 seconds ago. Um, so I just wanted to kind of give some of my initial impressions here on the mouse, the things that I thought were good, the things that I think are a little alarming so far. And uh, yeah, so first off, I love the shape. I love the coding. The feet are great. Uh, the wireless technology is also, I would say it rivals the Viper Ultimate, if not even slightly better than the Viper Ultimate. This is just after using it for a day. So, uh, you know, don't attack me down in the comment sections. I've only used it for a few hours now, but um, it is a very good mouse. One thing that I did notice though, was that I had some difficulties getting a different USB type C cable to plug into the port here on the front. So um, that might be just a slight limitation where you need to use their USB C cable, or maybe you'll find one that happens to fit. Uh, it's really not a big deal though. The battery life seemed fine. It hasn't died on me yet. And I just took it out of the box. Um, yeah, the RGB looks good. It's, it's a really good mouse so far. Um, I'm really, really liking it. However, this is not my full review of it. I will have a full review of it up in a couple of weeks. Give me some time with the mouse, some time to formulate my thoughts and opinions on it, all that good stuff. But yeah, I really like it so far. Now, if you have not subscribed, I'd really appreciate it if you could do that and hit the like button as well. Also, I stream at the moment uh, every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at noon. However, I'm going to be changing to Tuesday, Thursday, starting in December. Uh, maybe just for the month of December. We'll see what happens. Still at noon, but it will be Tuesday, Thursday, starting in November. So, yeah. All right. Cool. Well, everybody have a great rest of your day, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.